This is how a typical conversation starts. Hi Frank, I yes. need your help. How may I help you? I wanted to make a box like this color. Okay. But why did it come out like this? Uh, do you have a Pantone numbers? What's a Pantone? This is Pantone. In the packaging printing industries, in order to communicate effectively for colors, we use either CMYK or Pantone color systems. In this video, we are going to show you what are the difference between those and which printing method is the best for your packaging. CMYK is also known as cyan, magenta, yellow, and black. It also refers to four primarily colors of pigments used in four color process printing. It works pretty much just like those inject printers you find in home or offices. Pantone aka Spot Colors is using a highly precise mix of ink to create an exact color. Essentially, we use predetermined colors to match a certain colors. That's why it's also known as PMS, Pantone Matching System. The major difference between CMYK and Pantone printing is a level of accuracy. The Pantone printing method is more consistent and can get up to 95% color accuracy once seen on a digital design stage. However, it costs more compared with the CMYK print especially when you have a smaller printing quantity. On the other hand, it's possible to have smaller print jobs with the CMYK, whereas printing with Pantone, it requires a lot more manpower. The machine has to be prepped for each run, and after that, it has to be cleaned thoroughly. Therefore, it's more cost-effective to run a larger print jobs with the Pantone printing methods. Okay, let's recap. So if you wish to have a consistent printing on your brands or logo like a corporates, we suggest to go with the Pantone printing systems. However, if printing that exact color is not your main concerns, or generally you have a smaller printing quantities, you can go with this regular CMYK prints to save more cost. So if you find this video helpful, consider to hit the like buttons and follow us on Instagram to learn more about custom packaging. In the next video, we're gonna show you what to do if you don't have the Pantone book, and why the color looks a bit different compared from digital to a physical printing. All right, this is Frank from Inner Rhinos. Thanks for watching, and we will see you in the next one. Bye. Hi, Frank. I need your help. <laughs>